While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Ew. Spoon? Yes. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. Wait, wait. Well, answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Son of a binky bonky. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but... I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He just... He asked a lot of dumb questions. Alright, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry.
Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that! Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. Wait... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max! What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Uh, maybe something like, sorry I lied to you and led you on into thinking we were going to college together in the fall? That'd be a good start. You see, I knew you'd be like this. Oh, fuck that! No, you lied! Just suck it up and apologize, or this is gonna be one long-ass incarceration. Okay. I'm sorry. Happy? Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here, for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by... something. 
and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a... a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, Yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan! I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is it so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... 
We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So... Alright, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? You... You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Matt! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can.
Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Max? Max? Hey, what's going on? So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Locked. Figures. 
I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. What's he hiding? What are you hiding, Travis? Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. to rest soon. Ha. Mama's boy. Fifty-six. That means he was born in... 1965. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. July 7th? <sighs> I need to lie down.
Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Hello? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. Hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in. Search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us, except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 blah, blah part. We're, we're more like um, ghost investigators, specter sleuths. Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. 